Hi you guys, my name is Sharita. Welcome to my channel. All right, so today, uh, I went down a rabbit hole on TikTok the other day. I was getting my lashes done, lashes by Vanessa, and she had asked me if I was current with the cheer drama. Now, if you guys don't know, cheer was a, um, cheer was a program on Netflix and uh, it like, it became very popular for a multitude of reasons. And one of the reasons it became very popular was because one of the main stars, his name, uh, his name was Jerry Harris. One of the main stars, it came out that he was a full on like pedophile. And so it got, yeah, so that, that blew up cheer. Good, bad, or indifferent, I don't know. Now, since then, there have been, like there's just drama everywhere. Like in any area aspects of life, whether you know, you're at work, you're at school, um, sports, any, anything. When there's a group of people, there's always going to be drama. And especially when you have different uh, personalities. So there was one person in particular, and I've talked about cheer before, um, because cheerleading, that's, it's what I do. And I've talked about cheerleading before, or cheer before. And there was a specific person, his name is Ladarius. Hey babe. And Ladarius has a very bold personality. Ladarius was very, um, just, he, he's, he's very bold and he tells it like it is. Um, some people would call him um, dramatic or whatever, but Ladarius speaks his mind. And I find it weird that people have a problem when somebody speaks their mind and they keep it real and they don't lie and they don't sugarcoat things. And people will say things like, oh, that he's being aggressive. He doesn't have to be so harsh. And it's like being, telling the truth isn't being harsh, but because Ladarius is um, flamboyant and not in a, in a gay type of way, but just that's his personality. He's very flamboyant. He's open, he's um, colorful. And so people just, you know, looked at him as dramatic or whatever, just very, very stereotype, uh, stereotypical, but Ladarius is just himself. So I think it was season two. Um, I really need to like go back and review my recap, but at the end, I want to say season two, um, you know, drama went down and Ladarius ended up leaving the team and... They made Ladarius basically look like the bad guy. That's what it came down to. Ladarius was the bad person and he had to leave because of his attitude or he had to leave because, you know, because of whatever. And now Ladarius is airing everybody's shit out and you guys, I'm here for it. Ladarius is the person, and yes, I always have to talk about him. Ladarius is the type of person that Jeffree Star thinks he is. Ladarius has a, a very loud personality, like I've mentioned before, and people fell in love with that personality. But when he was, you know, like when people said things such as, you know, oh, Ladarius is aggressive, Ladarius is a mean person, Ladarius is this, Ladarius is that, Ladarius actually came back with the receipts and he was like, actually, this is where you guys are wrong. This is where you are wrong. And Ladarius even said himself, this is all on his TikTok, by the way. So y'all need to go to his TikTok and just watch. Because, like, if you guys are here for the drama like I am, just as long as it's not your drama, <laughs> I'm telling you, you guys, you guys are going to love every ounce of it. So anyway... Um, like he put out the receipts and he even said, he goes, I found out that Texas is a, is a one, one party state. And so he released all the, me the messages, the videos, he released it all. Cause he's like, what you're not about to do is lie on my name. And he also 
showed like where he was wrong in some instances to prove his point. Cause he's like, yeah, I probably shouldn't have said this or that, but if we're gonna put out the truth, we're gonna put out everything. I may look crazy, but here it is. And so there's a lot of layers to, to what's going on. But some, some of the things that, um, some of the things stem from Gabby, Gabby Butler, who is one of, you know, she's, she's one of the, the main characters, if you will, in cheer. Now, Gabby, Gabby Butler was famous in the cheerleading world before cheer came out. Gabby Butler got her start years ago when she was like eight, nine, ten, something like that. And she used to put out these videos on YouTube about about how to stretch and become flexible because Gabby is she's very very flexible and this was before uh, flexibility was like a huge thing in cheerleading and Gabby was one of the most flexible flyers out there and so she became very very famous um, in the cheer world obviously and so when she um, like she like I said she was what we deemed in the cheer world a cheer celebrity um, before cheer was even a thing. And so me being in the cheer world, I knew of her. I actually have a picture that I took with Gabby when she was on, hmm, I don't remember what team she was on, but it was when she was on California All-Stars. I, I guess it was Smoet, right? That makes sense. Anyway, I, you know, like I've taken a picture with Gabby, like she's an amazing athlete. She's not just the flexible cheerleader, like she's an amazing tumbler, she's an amazing flyer, like nobody can take her athleticism away from her because she is great at what she does. However, comma, she started to do some problematic things. And years ago, probably like three, four years ago, she had posted something on her Twitter and she had just went tanning and she posted a picture of her legs and it said something along the lines of, oh, hey, I just switched races or something like that. And me being the person I am, I retweeted her. One, because if I if I DM'd her, I knew she wouldn't see it because I followed her on Twitter. She did not follow me. So if I DM'd her, I knew she wouldn't see it. So I retweeted it and I said very nicely, like I didn't call her out her name, but I was just like, hey, just to let you know, like you did not switch races. Like you, you're definitely still white. Um, this is a very, like, insensitive thing to say. And, you know, and like, that, like, that was the gist of what I said. I didn't call her out her name, like, nothing like that. And then, of course, she retweeted it back. And at this point, she's got thousands, tens of thousands of followers, if not hundreds of thousands of, of followers on Twitter. And she said something along the, along the lines of, um... I'm not white, I'm this, 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 that, and the other. I'm actually a mutt. Here's the attention that you ordered today or something like that. And again, I retweeted and again, I was very nice and I was just like, I'm just letting you know that's not cool to say. Like, it's very problematic um, and you're not a mutt. Like, mutts are dogs. So don't refer to yourself in that kind of way. And of course, a lot of people came came at me a lot of her followers were like oh my god Gabby's not even racist and I was like first of all I never said that I was very very sure not to say that like I made sure I did not say that um and even her dad retweeted me and was just like you don't know what you're talking about blah 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 and I'm just like okay and then you know a lot of people was just just they went in on me basically on Twitter and I was just like all right whatever um like I said what I said and I meant what I said. She's not a mutt because she's not a dog, but her saying that she switched races because she's darker because she went tanning, that's a very problematic thing to say. Like you don't say shit like that. That's just like when white people come up to black people during the summer and they like do the arm test. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. And they go, ah, I'm almost as dark as you. And it's like, don't do that. Nobody cares. Like. Your skin tone might be almost as dark as mine, but you're still not black. So stop, stop. Um, yeah, so there was that, and I was not mean to that girl any by like any 
way, shape, or form. So now it's coming out that she's been very anti-black. Ladarius um, showed some some DMs of her of her um, calling him nigga. Like, so it's even worse than what I put out there. You guys remember? Like, what's my Twitter name? Sharita. I told you so. Explains it all. Because I told you so. It's not hard to see patterns of people. Patterns of behavior of people. So, uh, Ladarius puts it all out there about, you know, um, because what happened was it came out that Gabby did blackface. And her excuse is always, I didn't know. Well, I tried to explain, I tried to explain it to you very nicely years ago. And then you did blackface and you still didn't know. Like when I told you, like you were switching, you said you were switching races. I told you that was an issue. You didn't think to go and learn a little bit more about why that was a problem. No, because because she doesn't care. People like that don't care. So then she gets called out. Now she's got a bigger platform because she was on a Netflix show. She's got a bigger platform. And now people are calling her out for blackface and all of a sudden it's like, well, she didn't know any better yet. How does she not know? It's it, it's 2022 or 2021, whenever this happened. And she still doesn't know. And it's like, we don't, we don't need to sit down and try to explain everything to you. How about when somebody tells you something years ago that it's problematic, how about you, you go out and you learn on your own? You can't always use your whiteness and your, well, I didn't know, your naivety. Like, at, at what point are you going to learn that it's not okay? And then she threw everybody under the bus and was like, I wasn't the only one who did it. And like, showed receipts of her other teammates that did it to try to prove that it was hazing. But then she said that they don't do hazing at Navarro, but they do. Like, it, you guys, there's just so many layers to this. And then Ladarius was saying how he was protecting Gabby because they were sleeping together. <laughs> like, they were each other's sneaky links or whatever because Gabby's cheated on every boyfriend that she's had with Ladarius. And he said past, present, and current. <laughs> He's out here just like dropping all the bombs and I'm not mad at it because they want to try to portray Ladarius in this in this angry black man type of way. And of course people are going to feed into it because of his eccentric personality. But how come Gabby just can't be anti-black? How come the people can't be anti-black? You know, and, and Gabby would use things to be like, well, you know, my best friends are black or my black friends said this or my black friends were okay with that. He, and Ladarius came out and was like, your black friend said what? Because I did not. I never told you that that shit was okay. So don't try to say that I did. Other black people may have, but don't, don't lump me in with those other people because that's not who I am. You know, and these are the same people when Jerry got caught, I mean, caught in full, caught in 4K, that he was, you know, like, molesting these young children, Gabby was the first one to be like, oh, Jerry would never do anything like that. Babes, federal. <laughs> He's in federal prison. Like, what do you mean he would never do that? So they, like, stick up for problematic people just because they're close to them, you know what I mean? And it's like, I'm sorry, but like, your, your friend is shitty. I'm sorry that you, this is how you have to find out, but your friend is shitty. That's something that you're gonna have to get over. You know, sucks, take it as a loss. Learn to grieve, move on. So yeah, Ladarius is out here just spilling everything and I'm literally here for every single part of it. And I'm glad that he's clearing the, clearing the air because he is, he is being portrayed as this mean, mean, mean boy, angry black man, when all he's doing is telling his truth with receipts, with actual receipts. Monica is not a good person. Gabby is not a good person. And I stand firm in my belief that people who make it to the top, politicians, um, you know, like 
uh, like head, you know, like CEOs, like all those people. I, I stand firm in my belief that people who make it on top, you know, top influencers, actors, actresses, all, all those people, they don't make it that big by being a good human because people are not afraid of good humans. They're afraid of people who will blackmail them or throw them under the bus. They're afraid of those people. And that's how they, you know, that's how they, they get up there. That's how they make it so high up. Because it's like, do you know who I am? Do you know what I can do to you and your reputation? Change my mind. I'm not saying all. I'm not saying all. But. Yeah. Literally change my mind. there's a lot of problematic people in the spotlight while people who are unproblematic are just living their best lives to just you know just look at how people age that's all I'm gonna say look how people age it's scientific at this point so Whew. I just I I don't know if I want to go back and watch cheer and just kind of like see things because Ladarius is posting shit on TikTok and it's so funny. He had posted something on Andy Cohen and it was like, um, are there any secret hookups? And it was Jerry, Gabby, Ladarius, and Monica. And it was like, are there any secret hookups? And this is the point. Like, again, Ladarius and Gabby had been hooking up and everybody kind of froze because at this point in time, nobody, I, I'm not gonna say nobody, but it wasn't news. Or it wasn't common knowledge that Gabby and Ladarius were sleeping together. And both, like, you just have to see the, um, like, the body language. And they all kind of just, like, froze and Gab, or not Gabby, Monica kind of grabbed Ladarius' arm, like, don't say nothing, don't say nothing. And it's just, it's just funny seeing all, you know, like, all the little nuances that happened while you know, everything was going on behind closed doors. And like Ladarius said, he was just trying to protect Gabby. And Gabby's dad is playing, you know, being Gabby's dad. Because when I um, called her out about her tweet, her dad, I don't remember if he DM'd me or if he just tweeted me or something, but he definitely was like in my whatever, trying to tell me like my daughter's not bad, my daughter this, my daughter that. And then like now he's over here trying to tell Ladarius like, can we talk? Babes, talk about what? Because it's not happening. We're, we're not talking. So it's just I don't know. It's it's weird. But I'm just I'm I'm very very proud of Ladarius for for being who he is. So so yeah, I think that's it for the cheer drama. I encourage you guys to go watch Ladarius's um, TikTok because it's it's a time it is a motherfucking time and the receipts are there all of them and I feel like we won't be getting a season 3 of Cheer <laughs> based off of you know based off of the shit so, all right, I am currently on my way to uh, Miles House Taekwondo testing. And so that's where I'm on my way. And then I have the rest of the day to do whatever. And then I have Sunday, Monday off, you guys. Like, those are my days off and I'm not doing anything this weekend. I don't think. Yeah, I don't have anything to do. So I'm really excited to just relax and rest and just... Anyways, let me know what you guys think about all this drama. Um, 